Hello loves, how's it going? My name is Anne Lay. I am the creator of the Creative Minds Journal. And today I want to share with you three of my biggest 2018 takeaways. I was very much inspired from a spread that I made for my January 2019 journal setup. And I was able to create a page for my takeaways. And over here is my 2019 wishes. It was really fun to do and I just kept flowing with all these thoughts, ideas, and new perspective. Um, it was very therapeutic. If you want to check this spread out, I will have the link below this video. But with that being said, I'm going to elaborate and focus on just three that I feel would definitely help benefit you so that way you can start your new year on a whole new perspective, a nice open mindset, and a fresh new start. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into to this. So number one, I want to talk about the impact that you and I can make at this very moment every single day. We are given the gift to create and make an impact on other people who cross our paths or walk into our lives. And whether if you want to make that a good or a bad impact, it's really up to you, but you have the power to create a huge impact because that is like the gift that keeps on giving. Instead of thinking that you're going to make a huge impact and you're going to find your life's purpose in five, 10, 20 years, it's actually right now. And I've always thought that I needed to have like a huge audience or be somebody major like Oprah, Gandhi, or you know, somebody with a huge following. That's not the case at all because just one simple act of kindness, it's like the gift that keeps on giving. It's like a snowball effect. I know that whenever I come across a time in my life where I'm just feeling really down and I go out and step out to, you know, run errands or something like that. And if when somebody treats me really kind, like just a simple little smile, little simple acts of kindness can make such a huge difference. Once you impact somebody, it inspires them to want to do the same to the next person and the next person. And that's how we create a positive and a huge expansive effect on the world instead of thinking that we need to have a huge audience. Um, although that is great, but I feel like we can do this at this very moment and you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for tomorrow. You don't have to wait for a year, three years, five years, 20 years down the line until you become somebody. You are somebody at this very moment and you have that opportunity. It is a gift to us to do this. And um, I really truly believe that it takes one person at a time. It's not all about creating a big audience and doing it in a big, huge way. Number two, usually toward the end of the year, I always see Instagram posts or videos about cutting negative people out of your life. And I do really agree with this, but I think that there are two perspectives on how to look at this. So number one, cutting people out of your life is necessary only if they don't provide any value and if they don't bring out the best in you. However, you should also think about what you can learn from the situation. If you think that cutting people out of your life will solve the issue or is the only solution and you don't really look at the overall picture and learn the lesson out of it, it's just going to repeat and become a vicious cycle of meeting more toxic people and then you're going to have to cut out those people in your life. So there are some people that are just allowing this kind of behavior to keep on coming because they're not facing the issue. They're running away from it. And I believe that instead of cutting people out of your life, you should take a step back and see and evaluate the whole situation. See what you can learn out of these people who enter your life. Mostly, a lot of negative things that happen to us are lessons in disguise. So if you can look farther into the overall picture and see what value you can take out of it, grow from it, bless it, and then let it go instead of just cutting it and then moving on because that vicious cycle will happen to you again. So before cutting somebody out of your life, take a moment and ask yourself, is this something that you're allowing to keep on happening? Take some responsibility in what is happening to you instead of just 
thinking that once you cut somebody out, that is the solution and that is going to solve everything. Because if you don't look within yourself first, then nothing is going to change and the same thing will keep on happening to you and you're gonna keep on cutting more and more people out and that's just going to be an endless cycle of going and growing nowhere. Number three, and that is how powerful our minds are. It's so easy to blame on situations, people, everything else except for ourselves. But when it comes down to it, you have the control to shift your mind and how you feel, how you think because you cannot do that to anybody else. You cannot control you know, your relatives, your family, your friends, people. You can't control the environment. You can only go back within and control how you feel, how you think, your perspectives, your opinions, and from there, you can control your own environment. Um, so instead of just dwelling on the negative and self-pity thoughts and victimizing yourself, you have that power to change how you see and perceive your life. I, Whenever I come across a situation that is really tough, I'm feeling really down, someone did me wrong and um, hurt my feelings, you know, someone hurt my feelings, really hurt me, I go back within and I'm like, you know what, I'm not going to allow this to happen. How can I change my perspective? And then I just think of things I am grateful for. And you know, when you think about like, okay, I can't change the situation. Sitting here feeling victimized, it's not going to help me feel any better. It's not going to make the situation any better. What can I do to move forward? And then from there, I was like, I need to move forward. I need to move on with my life. I need to live my life. So I need to be happy on my own and not allow other people to give me permission to be happy. So give yourself permission to be happy because you are in control of yourself. Do not let anybody else control who you are, dictate who you are, because you have that power and it is a blessing and we should take it, we should use it and bring out the greatness in ourselves. That may sound corny, but it is so, so true. So those are my three biggest takeaways for 2018. I would love for you to share your takeaways in the comment section below this video. And I really feel like these three takeaways would definitely help you develop and grow and bring out the best in you for the new year. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I will talk to you next time. If you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button or follow this page. Thank you and I will talk to you next time. Ciao!